That's awesome. Uh, and speaking of uh, donations, before we bring up our next speaker, um, you see this locker right here. This locker, uh, we're, we're going to be changing the locker room up at SFU, and we're trying to get the alumni to contribute $500, and that buys you a locker, and it also will buy your nameplate over top of the locker, and that will be there forever. So like Mark Reed, who played there once, whose kids will not believe him that he played, <laughs> will have to go up there and say, see, there's my name, and there's my locker. Now Mark and his brothers have bought a locker each, right? The Paul's brothers have bought lockers. Tom Kadaba said he bought a locker today. So we want guys to step up tonight and buy a locker, okay? And I'll lead the way. So I will buy another locker, okay? That's what we Football in British Columbia, really, it should be called Larry Rita football in this province because he is synonymous with football at all levels. So, Larry Rita, you come on up and say a few words. Larry, did you know you were speaking today? No? You did. You gotta speak louder there, Julio. I thought I caught him off guard back there. Larry Rita, everybody. Just before, that's it. Just before he gets off the stage, uh, Julio and I say, share a lot of things together. It seems that every time uh, he's at a banquet, I'm getting an award. But we're both Italian, we both are we're in the fire department, and we both support uh, Simon Fraser immensely. So, uh, Julio, I'll move on. Yes. Uh, <laughs> it's a pleasure to be here tonight, and uh, I'd certainly at the end of my speech or a little dissertation here, I'll talk about Kelly and congratulate him, but uh, I wanted to make sure that everybody in the room understands the role of football BC in the province of BC. We're the governing body of amateur football. We have some, uh, almost 10,000 uh, young men that play under our banner. Uh, the community program, which is the base, has 41 associations throughout British Columbia. On top of that, there's the high school program, 51 schools, uh, at three levels, and by the way, they play American football, as you all know. Uh, contrary to some of the uh, people who are upset about that, that's what we do. And by the way, I just want to say that Football Canada now is taking their all-star teams and going south of the border to play American football. And those guys come from all over Canada playing Canadian football. Funny, it's amazing. Uh, and then obviously, uh, the football family, uh, has our six junior teams that operate uh, throughout uh, in British Columbia and play in the national play for a national title. And then on top of that, we have uh, the two universities, Simon Fraser and those other guys. <laughs> so I wanted to make sure those other guys, you know, when we when uh, when Lauren Davies, my good friend, and I used to talk, he'd say to me, "What happens if I cut your wrist?" And I says, "It's red, white, and blue." And, and I guess that started back uh, some 35 years ago when I started to camp up in uh, Simon Fraser. I ran a summer camp for 23 years, and it was just a great experience to watch the university uh, grow. Uh, the program obviously went up and down, but uh, I think that we're on the right track. When I take a look at the roster last year, uh, Simon Fraser, I think there was close to 50 young men that have went to high school football and were on the team. So I think that that bodes well for the development of our, our young athletes uh, under our band under Football BC. And, and closing, I'd just like to uh, congratulate uh, Kelly and I look forward to the introductions of his staff. I understand that he uh, reached down into the uh, uh, other ranks and pilfered some guys uh, that were outstanding coaches in our high school level, but he, that'll come a little later. So, uh, again, thank you very much for the privilege of just talking to you. Uh, enjoy the evening.